Hi, I'm George Pearson, and in this video, I'll be talking about a new feature here I just found out about in Photoshop Elements 2019 that isn't listed any place in their list of new features, but it's a great new feature. Let's take a look at this in just a moment. But first, don't forget to click on that like button. Also click on share, share with your friends through social media. Hit subscribe if you haven't already. And to really learn how to use Photoshop Elements, take a look at my complete training course right down there in the description. Okay, let's get to it. I just stumbled upon a, another new feature here in Photoshop Elements 2019 that actually is quite exciting. Now, Adobe, for whatever unknown reason, just kind of slipped this one in there and didn't mention it to anybody. Once I did some digging, I found that it is listed in the help file, but really very little information about this thing, and that is tracking. Let's go over here to the type tool. What tracking does is it allows you to adjust the spacing of letters. Now, this does two things, tracking and you can use it for kerning as well. Kerning is between two individual letters, tracking is your whole line. This will work either way. To adjust the spacing, simply double click, select your word, and then right down here you'll see a new option tracking right there, right in the type options. Click on that and you have several different settings to play with. Negative 5 down to negative 100, this makes your spacing tighter, and 5 up to 200 makes your spacing wider. Let's take a look at 100, notice how everything just kind of spaced out like that at 100. So to 200, spaces out even further. Let's go the other direction. Let's go down to 25 and then down to 75. So it really allows you to control the space between your letters, which is a great tool. They, this is something which they have been needing here inside of Photoshop Elements for a long time. And I consider this a major improvement. This is as big of an improvement as having layer groups over here on the right-hand side. If you do text at all inside of Elements, this should make you very, very excited. I really like this new kind of hidden feature. Again, they just they didn't mention this one at all in any of their literature or videos, anything about their new features. They just kind of dropped it in. If you want to adjust the space between two letters, also easy to do. Notice if we take a look at this, how the R and the A are pretty close together. They're touching right down there. The C kind of seems out by itself. There's a lot of space on the left-hand side, a lot of space on the right-hand side. It seems like the spacing is too large on the C. And the T can be tightened up a little bit as well. Easy to do, simply select the letter you want to adjust your space on, just do one letter, and the tracking adjusts the space to the right of that letter. So let's just make this one a little bit tighter. Let's come on here to point negative, or negative 25 rather, let's go to negative 50. Looks a lot better, I kind of brought that in. Let's do the same thing right here for the C. Do the same thing, I'll set this down to 50. That just brings in the space right there and makes the line look a lot nicer, a lot more even by tightening up some of those spaces. Again, the G over here, same problem. It looks a little far from the N. Now the spaces to the right of the N, so let's adjust the N. And let's set our tracking down to 50 again. That brings that space a lot tighter, and the word looks much better. For most text, this isn't a big problem. But for headline text, and if you had your text up here as a top of a headline for a picture, this can be a very big deal to make the text look real nice. That's again, it's a little large over here on the T, let's adjust that one as well. Doesn't need as much. Let's try 25 here, negative 25. That's pretty good. So, marvelous, marvelous tool. Now, if I had spotted this, or if anybody even mentioned this thing before I did my review of Photoshop Elements 2019, I would have said that this was a reason to go ahead and do the upgrade if you use type a lot. If you don't, this doesn't matter. It's not, not a big deal if you're just doing photographs. That doesn't matter at all, really. But if you're doing a lot of text, a lot of type on images, this is a huge deal. And this one thing, again, if you're working with type, if you want to be doing type in your images, this one tool here makes it worth the price of the upgrade. What's nice is that tracking continues to work no matter what you do with your type. As long as your text is still text, you can still work with the track. Let's take a look over here. I'm going to set this add a little bit of a warp text. Let's do the standard arc. There we go. And if I click in here, notice that the tracking is still set at negative 50 for that space. Let's go over here. That's set at zero. So I can even adjust the tracking even with 
the text being warped like this. Let's put something else on here. Let's finalize this by clicking on that green check mark and switch over to styles. And let's take a look at our complex styles in here. Let's grab something unusual like that one right there. So here's kind of a complex styling on this thing. Go back to our type tool and I'll click inside and notice that the tracking is still working right down here. So even with a style applied to your text, you can still use the tracking. Again, very, very important tool right there. I have no idea why Adobe decided not to mention this in their new listings here for Photoshop Elements 19. Again, this for me is a deciding factor. I use text all the time, as you know, in my different cards that I do, and this is just a great new feature. Again, no idea why Adobe didn't bother mentioning that one. In any case, there you go. There's one more new feature here inside of Photoshop Elements 2019. I guess I'm going to have to go through and just check every single tool, every single option, every single everything to see if anything else is hidden in here as well. If you like this video, don't forget to hit that like button and also, of course, share through social media. Just click on the share button as well. And to learn a lot more about Photoshop Elements, look for my complete training course right down there in the description. Thank you for watching my video. I hope you found it useful. If you like this video, click on the like button below to let others know. You can click the subscribe button so you don't miss any of my videos in the future. I'm frequently uploading new training videos. Don't forget to check out my website at howtogurus.com.